What is up, folks? Welcome to another edition of Billy the Kid's No Bullshit Toy Reviews. And today, courtesy of my sponsors, Big Tin Robot Toys and Collectibles, we are taking a look at MP09 Rodimus Convoy. This is a version 1, okay? So this one is known to have shoulders and knees that break. And because of that, I will not be transforming this into its vehicle mode. It's just not going to happen. I'm not going to risk breaking such an expensive piece. I'm sorry, and, and it eats away at me because, honestly, I, I love the Space Winnebago. Trailer is fucking awesome, though. Now, for accessories, he comes with a matrix of leadership that is small as shit. It's fucking tiny, but it is die cast, so I will give them that. He comes with a, uh, a welder, so when you have him in hot rod mode, he... Um, can fix cup. He also comes with a blade piece here that would also go into his hand for when he is hot rod to simulate underwater fighting that giant squid. He comes with this big fucking cannon that um, separates and becomes hot rods two guns if you were to keep him in hot rod mode. I'm not going to be doing that so we're just going to slide that in and you can see his Big ass sniper rifle. This trailer, if I were brave enough to turn him into his car mode, this piece flips out, this piece tabs open. You would slide him in ass backwards and close it up and you would have a really, really, really big space Winnebago. I'm thinking about buying a uh, broken Toys R Us version and just keeping him in that space when a bagel mode because I do love how it looks. Now, push this button and this pops right open. And you get his gun base from when we were kids. That comes up, blast shields come up. Turn that around. I'm going to lower this just so you can see the details of the cannon. It's really nice. Really cool. Let's see if I can zoom out. Oh, spoiler alert, Galvatron's going to be there. It's fucking huge. It's really fucking big. And it's cool. I mean, it's, it brings you right back to your childhood. You know, at least for me, I grew up with the 86 figures, so I absolutely love them. I'm go right back into zooming in. I'm just going to close that partially roll that away and let's get into Rodimus Prime. Now you can collapse his knees and flip his face out and you can have a hot rod but um, yeah I'm not I'm not doing that because this is all about Rodimus Prime and I really don't want to break this fucking toy. I did forget to mention he comes with a card. <laughs> face sculpt is beautiful it looks just like the Rodimus Prime from the cartoons, and that's why I went with this. I did own DX9 Carry. I sold it off because I wanted a cartoon-accurate representation, and that's what he is to me. Um, head is on a ball joint and has a hinge, so he can look down. He can untab. It is not a secure figure. He looks up. Looks around. You know, this is a figure that, honestly, you fear breaking quite a bit. The chest comes undone, and you can put his matrix inside. There you go. Burden hardest to bear. Figure hardest to fuck around with. He's come undone on the back. Again, this is a version 1, so this is not a stable vi figure. They did release a later one that um, fix some of these issues, I did not get one. You've got ratcheted shoulders. You can get them to go uh, full 360 degrees. These come up this far. You've got a bicep swivel. You've got a swivel inside of the elbow. You've got a very nice bend at the elbow. You've got a wrist swivel, a thumb that moves, and these fingers are all on the same p 
pins, okay? Bends at the knuckles, bends at the, uh, bends at both knuckles. This is a missed opportunity to me though. How could they not give him a pointer finger to give you that, this is the end of the road, Galvatron? Like, how the fuck do you fuck that up? I mean, of all things, that blows my mind. You've got a waist swivel. You do not have an ab crunch. Plop this up and plop this back and kicks back this far, kicks forward this far. Bring these back down. There's a bend at the knee and it, it's both sides, but it's it just doesn't want to go and I'm afraid I'm going to break it. So I'm not going to give it points there. Feeder die cast, tilt up, down, very, you know, it's got a very poseable foot, that's how we'll put it. There are thigh swivels, forgot to mention that, and I mean, he's a really good statue. He's not a figure that I'm going to get to fuck around with. And I like to like pose my masterpieces. I like to put them in the dynamic pose on the shelf. And you can't do that. I mean, I messed around with him for a minute and he's completely untabbed at the shins. Really, really sucks. I'm trying to get him to stand here, guys. Please work with me. Okay. Everything's just coming undone. So, for comparisons, here he is with MP44 Optimus Prime. And they look very good together. I really think they look good together. Uh, both are tune accurate. They both look like they came off the screen. And they absolutely work for me. Here he is with Fans Toy Sovereign. This is the version 1. Uh, more of a cartoon color, not the movie. Um, and they look great together. They look great together. Absolutely great. But this figure trumps him in terms of quality and articulation and what it can do. Rodimus Prime is my favorite character for the Autobots, period. And to see him come with a figure that can barely hold his weapons. Here, I'll show you. Slide that in there. Yeah, it just doesn't want to hold. It's just not going to happen. He can't hold his gun. You can't pose him out of fear of breaking him. Um, you know, and this thing sells for, you know, three to four hundred fucking dollars. I mean, that's not cool. I mean, I know we need a good Rodimus Prime, and he looks the part. He looks the part, but it is not a good figure, and it is in desperate need of an upgrade. Um, only buy him if you want to tune accurate Rodimus Prime. The DX9 carry is a far, um, far more fun to mess around with figure. It just looks like a Studio Ox design, so it doesn't really go with that tune accurate masterpiece um, look. You know, it sucks because I love him. I love the character. I love the look. But he just doesn't do it for me. You know, he's just going to sit on the shelf until a real replacement comes out. Maybe Fans Toys will throw it out. Maybe Takara will throw it out. Who knows? I'm in the market for it. As always, check out my sponsors, Big Tin Robot Toys and Collectibles, down in the link below. To my Patreons, thank you for your continued support and belief in my channel. If you like what you see, give me a like and subscribe. This is Billy the Kid, signing off.